A Lagos division of the Federal High Court has ordered the immediate release of a former state governor, Oji Kalu, from the Nigerian Correctional Service. Mohamed Liman de George granted an application moved by the former governor's counsel, Latif Fagbemi, seeking his release. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, did not oppose the application. In December last year, the court had sentenced him while he was a serving senator to 12 years in prison for 7.65 billion naira fraud. The lawmaker was tried alongside his company, Slock Nigeria Limited, and Ude Udeugu, who was director of finance and accountant at the Abia State Government House during his tenure as governor. In an amended 39 counts charge, they were accused by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission of conspiring and diverting over 7 billion naira from the coffers of the state. Joining us on the news tonight is Kunle Adegoke, a legal counsel. Thank you, Mr. Adegoke, for joining us on the news tonight. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be with you. Now, can you shed some legal light on this case? The former governor was charged in December, and now he's been released. Well, that is uh, the position of the law has today. And uh, what actually transpired is to the effect that, well, we can see that the matter moved up to the Supreme Court, where it was found by the justice of the Supreme Court that the lower court, the Court of Appeal, the president of the Court of Appeal, who issued a fiat to the judge who was sitting on the matter before he was elevated to the Court of Appeal, would not have the power to do so in this particular circumstance. And what happened is this. While Justice Idris was at the high court, the matter be, be, uh, commenced before him, he was in the process of determining the case when he was suddenly announced to have been elevated to the Court of Appeal. And upon getting to the Court of Appeal, it was the desire of the appellant himself that actually the judge hearing the matter should have been allowed to conclude it. So on that basis, there was an application that he'd be allowed to come back to determine the case. And pursuant to the provisions of the Section 3967 of the Administration of Criminal Justice Act, the President of the Court of Appeal issued a fiat allowing the judge, who is now a Justice of the Court of Appeal, to go back, to step down, back to the High Court, where he was sitting before, the Federal High Court, where he was sitting before, so that he could deliver his judgment, he could determine the case. And on that particular point, the judge was able to go back to the High Court. The question now is that the provision of the Administration of Criminal Justice Act, Section 396, Subsection 7, in this instance, that says that a judge of the High Court who has been elevated to the Court of Appeal can be allowed by a fiat to go back and determine any part aired matter that he was handling before he was elevated. The question is, is that provision constitutional? Can it withstand the provisions of the Constitution in the circumstance? A party has challenged the, 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 the accused person, the appellant now, has challenged the power of the justice of the Court of Appeal, who has now come back to the High Court upon a fiat of the president of the Court of Appeal to decide the case. And now, what is the position of the law with respect to this? Many people, this has really uh, brought a lot of agitations uh, among the populace. But the position of the law, it is law. It is not a, it is not a matter of sentiments. Many people, I myself, might not be too happy with the decision. But that is the law. And there must be certainty in the law. The Supreme Court has done what is right in the circumstance. What is the position of the law on this issue? One, judges of the High Court are appointed pursuant to the provisions of the Constitution. And the Constitution says that, okay, there shall be so so number of judges that will be sitting in a particular High Court. And on that basis, a person appointed as a judge of the High Court can only act as judge of the High Court. Once he is elevated to the Court of Appeal, he becomes a justice of the Court of Appeal and cannot act at the same time as judge of the High Court. Oh, now, Mr. Adekoke, he, let, me, let me interject there, Mr. Adekoke. Now, does this mean that the case will start all over again? Yes, the, the matter is going to... If, if the prosecution now brings new charges or refiles the charges, it means that it shall start de novo. It will start all over. But that wouldn't, is the this, implication. wouldn't this, in a way, tamper with already submitted evidences and also including witnesses? Well, the position of the law is that the, those witnesses 
provided they are still alive, can still come out to testify. And the prosecution who has these witnesses, we cannot say. It will be a mere matter of presumption. It will be a matter of conjecture to say that it would uh, affect the witnesses or the line of evidence that they will come and give. If they were the ones who testified before and they are being called again. In fact, it gives such witnesses the opportunity to even now refine their cases. Mistakes they made in the earlier case, they ordinarily will not commit the same mistake again, having been given opportunity to have a second bite at the cherry. So where the prosecution is ready to do its work, the man can still be prosecuted and be found guilty if there is sufficient evidence to convict him. In the absence of sufficient evidence, there's nothing anybody can do to help the prosecution. Okay, well, what about what about Mr. Ude, Ude Ogu, who was also charged alongside Oje Kalu? Is he free to? If there is an application to have him freed, the court would have freed him too. But if, whether he has been freed or he's still in prison, the prosecution can still charge the two of them together insofar as the two of them committed the same offense or offenses with which they have been charged. So the prosecution can still charge the two of them together to have them prosecuted all over. Kule Adegoke, thank you very much for joining us on the news and for shedding light on this. Thank you very much. You're welcome.